Hi, this is Ian and I'd like to take you through uh, this diagram which is a representation of uh, some field visits uh, as part of my research and what I wanted and what I was looking for is to try to produce a sense of the journey or journeys that I take when, when I'm within the field. What does that look like? Where do I go? Um, so hopefully we'll try to take a look at that. What we see here are three visits on three separate occasions and if you look at the times you can see that's when they are. They are just short brief visits and wouldn't represent necessarily exactly what you would see as a an entire field site visit. So it's it's just a proof of concept to see whether this sort of representation is effective in what it does. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off a couple of layers uh, so that we can simplify things slightly and we'll just consider this visit on Monday the 8th of uh, August. So the starting point was Twitter. You go to twitter.com. Uh, if I hover over that you can get a tool tip which indicates where it is. If I click on it it'll take us to that particular site. It was important for me to try and capture a sense of those places by if anybody who was viewing this wanted to they could actually go to those locations and see those stopping off points that were um, uh, that occurred during the course of the journey that I was taking. Um, so starting at Twitter I then conducted a Twitter search and I used this uh, or these as my search terms and what that then does is in the Twitter screen that's returned it produces a series of tweets and some of them are relevant some of them are more relevant than others and I just picked out a few here that we can see and if I hover over one of them the tooltip that pops up is the content or contents of the tweet itself uh, and it's as you can see it's different on each one and as I said if I click on that particular uh, link it will take me directly to that tweet uh, and so it's captured that place uh, and preserved it here unless somebody deletes the tweet I suppose uh, but we can go back to it and see it in its context it might have actually been part of a uh, a dialogue, a series of tweets. So it's important to be able to get back there and not just see the contents. As you can see from the tooltip, there is a link in there. Uh, so what I did and, and was to follow that link, and that took me to a blog site, or rather a blog post, a specific blog post. And I've just put in the tooltip, the introduction there, just to give a like, uh, give a, a summary. A sense of what the blog post was about. Again I could click on it and it would take me directly back to the blog post. I'm not going to do that because I've got this uh, particular screencast set up in a specific space and if I do that it'll open a new window and that'll probably be outside the screen space. But if you trust me that link will work and we can go back there. So that was one traversal. It stopped there in this particular case but um, doubtless in that blog post there are various other elements that might have um, caught my interest and I might have wanted to follow them and then I would have represented that on the diagram by some additional points up here. So if I go backwards there was the other tweet and what that did, the link that's in that particular tweet took me to a YouTube video and that's the title of the video and having watched that uh, video it then was clear that it was part of a short series of three so I then could watch each of the other videos and um, see whether or not they were of interest and, and contributed to the research. So each of these tweets takes me to a different place there's an article uh, again it's I can go back to that and check it out in more detail if I want to do so. So this particular um, part of the diagram shows one particular visit. If I add the next layer, that showed the next one. It's a similar thing. Change the search terms this time. Again, I just picked out four tweets that are of some interest. Uh, if we hover over that one, we can see that we've got a number of things within there. We've got uh, a link to a languageinbloom.com. Um, so that's an external website and that would take me down there and then I could 
find out a little bit more about it go back to the site I also notice in that tweet there are a series of other hashtags so each of those hashtags that appears in a tweet is a live link and I can follow them so that's what that does here and if I wanted to I could go back to each of those hashtags that one particular is uh, clearly an abbreviation of professional development that would be one that I want to follow up and although that in this diagram that perhaps stops in well it, it, it actually does stop here I didn't follow it up didn't have the time I would have done normally and then so the diagram would begin to extend further and then in the final one if we just add the final layer and then be able to see the final visit uh, we can see that although Twitter might have been the starting place I went outside of Twitter and actually used TweetDeck which is a different client uh, and it allows a different sort of representation but the principle is the same a series of tweets that were of particular interest um, it, you might be able to see within there each of the ones that we can um, has a different um, interest for me um, and I guess one final thing to mention is that um, this yellow area here or this green area here represents um, places that I've stopped at within the Twitter or within TweetDeck uh, and then if I follow a link which takes me outside or beyond Twitter that takes me here uh, to other places and then I'm working outside of Twitter so if you want to take a look at this and explore it for yourself um, this video is embedded within a blog post and you'll see a link to this somewhere else in the blog post uh, I hope that makes sense but if not please by all means ask me some questions on either YouTube where this video is hosted or in the comments at the foot of the blog post Thanks for listening.